uh, we are working to accelerate the global vaccine effort because, as we've said uh, repeatedly, uh, and we say it repeatedly because it is fundamentally true, no country, no region will be safe until we stop the pandemic uh, everywhere. As long as the virus is replicating, it's likely to be mutating, and as long as it's mutating, it may well come back and defeat some of the vaccines that are so effective and that we put in place. So we have to uh, continue to make every possible effort to get ahead of this. Houses, we are delighted uh, to welcome you. Uh We're working with the African Union, with the African CDC, with, uh, with COVAX, to make COVID-19 vaccines available across the continent. We've provided more than 50 million doses to 43 African countries to date, including indeed close to 4 million uh, doses here in, in Kenya. Uh, we've also given more than $1.9 billion in COVID-related assistance across Africa to help meet health and humanitarian needs, including uh, $76 million uh, to Kenya. And we've done this with no political strings attached. This is about saving lives. To this press conference, my name is Rachel Omamo. Kenya is a model uh, of investment in renewable energy, which now provides 90 percent uh, of this country's power. And Kenya is one of the few countries worldwide that has set a target of 100 percent renewable energy by 2030. That's leadership. Thank you so much. Um, the attack yesterday in Kampala was a painful reminder of how vital it is that we continue to work together to improve security throughout East Africa. The United States offers its deepest condolences to those injured in the attacks and to the families and loved ones of those who were killed. Momo, um, racial sister. Uh, it One place where we're both deeply concerned is Ethiopia. Uh, the conflict there threatens not just that country, but its neighbors as well. I very much appreciate President Kenyatta's engagement on this, including at the United Nations and in person in Ethiopia. We're working closely with Kenya, the African Union, and its high representative for the Horn of Africa, former Nigerian President Obasanjo, uh, as well as other partners. Our special envoy, Jeff Feltman, is working with High Representative Obasanjo to press the parties to end hostilities immediately and without preconditions, to stop human rights abuses and violations, to provide humanitarian access for the millions in northern Ethiopia who are in dire need of life-saving supplies. Um, I don't know who will be managing that. Um... We support the Sudanese people who have repeatedly made clear their aspirations for democracy, and we back their call to restore Sudan's democratic transition. Um, we're continuing to work with the international community to urge the Sudanese military to release all those detained uh, with the takeover. Uh, to questions, um, I don't know. Sudan ha had been on a path toward a democracy and stability. Returning to that path is the best way for Sudan to attain peace and prosperity, become a leader on the continent, and uh, to restore very strong support from the international community. We'll begin with the Kenyan side. Uh, Catherine from Al Jazeera.